Lesson 9. Mastering Resilience. From Struggle to Strength. Welcome back to another day or night on depending when you are listening to this educational journey on cultivating lessons and habits for a monumental life. As we all know, the world has faced one of the most demanding periods in recent history during the pandemic. We've endured the loss of loved ones, months of isolation, job losses, and continuous uncertainty and fear. We've struggled to adapt to ever-changing restrictions, bouncing back and forth between lockdowns and seemingly normal life. It has been a confusing, frustrating time for everyone, with our opinions and beliefs constantly evolving. Throughout life, we inevitably confront heart-wrenching tragedies, minor setbacks, and life-altering mistakes. There's no set timeline for overcoming these challenges, and they don't just fade away with time. Regardless of how insignificant they may appear to others, these challenges can alter your brain chemistry continually reminding you of past mistakes or painful memories. Life's hardships affect us all, some more unfairly and disproportionately than others. Searching for reasons or logic to explain why these things happen won't help us move forward. Instead, we need to equip ourselves with the right tools to grow, and one of these tools is investing in experiences. This brings us to habit number nine. In our previous session, where we discussed the habit of investing in other people, we mentioned Michael Norton and Elizabeth Dunn's book, happy money. One of their five principles is investing in experiences. But how can experiences not only make us happy but also help us overcome difficult times? Before we delve into that, let's briefly review some other methods psychologists recommend for coping with challenging situations. These include acknowledging the problem, focusing on what you can control, changing your perspective, prioritizing self-care, and realizing it's a learning experience. While these techniques are valuable, they can be difficult to apply effectively. For example, acknowledging a problem may only take a few minutes, but what comes next? Let's say you've lost your job. You can control your time and send out numerous job applications, but how do you cope with the lingering disappointment? Changing your perspective is easier said than done, and prioritizing self-care can only go so far. These methods often work best when guided by a psychologist who can help you explore the deeper emotions and thoughts associated with your problems. However, Logic and reasoning may not always be the most effective approach when it comes to overcoming challenging experiences. That's where investing in experiences comes in. To understand this better, let's take a closer look at what happens to your brain during difficult times. This explanation will primarily focus on trauma response, specifically post-traumatic stress disorder, an intense reaction to traumatic events. PTSD isn't limited to war or combat experiences. It can result from job loss, the end of a relationship, the loss of a loved one or pet, or any other distressing event that overwhelms your brain's capacity to process and cope. The amygdala, part of the limbic system, plays a significant role in PTSD. It stores all sensory aspects of a memory, such as smell, emotion, and visual, auditory, and tactile experiences. If you've experienced fear, hurt, disappointment, or shock, the amygdala will retain the memory in terms of sensory experiences rather than just visual images. This creates a loop in the emotional part of the brain, disconnecting it from the reasoning and cognitive side. The limbic system and amygdala are located deep within your brain, making them difficult to access directly. In contrast, the prefrontal cortex, which governs consciousness, processing, reasoning, and language, sits at the front of your brain. During a traumatic experience, the fight-or-flight response may be triggered, shutting down the prefrontal cortex. If you've ever received bad news and found yourself going numb, staring off into space, or struggling to find words, it could be due to parts of your prefrontal cortex shutting down. The brain can become overwhelmed by trauma, causing disorganization as your body enters survival mode and your higher reasoning shuts down. This metabolic shutdown can recur as your amygdala loops the traumatic memory, making your brain believe you're experiencing the event again and causing your higher reasoning to shut off once more. Traditional talk therapy, where you discuss your trauma, was initially thought to be helpful for addressing these issues. However, advancements in brain skin technology have revealed that when the amygdala loops the memory, reasoning and language capabilities cannot access it, causing us to re-experience the trauma without being able to process or unpack it effectively. Instead, we need to reach the deeper regions of the brain. Psychologists employ a bottom-up processing approach which involves increasing oxygen and blood flow to the brain to access its deeper regions. Techniques such as eye movement desensitization and reprocessing or sensorimotor therapy are used to calm and reach the deeper parts of the brain. 
While you can attempt these therapies on your own, it is safer and more effective to work with a trained psychologist. But what can you do independently to take action, access the deeper regions of your brain, and address your challenges? The answer is investing in positive experiences. Engaging in enjoyable experiences leaves a significant impact on your brain. When you learn or experience something new, the neurons involved grow, form connections, and sometimes even produce new neurons. Experiences influence the formation of synapses, allowing you to establish new pathways for intellectual, emotional, and psychological responses to daily life. Positive experiences create lasting memories in your amygdala, making you feel safe and content. Activities like picnics in the park, scenic drives, beach walks, concerts, or trips can leave a lasting imprint on your amygdala for months. These experiences teach your amygdala about various memories, which can weaken the strength of the traumatic loop. However, it's crucial to ensure these experiences won't overwhelm you. If concerts or noisy restaurants aren't your thing, opt for quieter alternatives like parks or cozy cafes. In conclusion, traditional methods of dealing with challenges, such as maintaining a positive mindset, writing things down, and relying on logic and reasoning, may not be as helpful as we once thought. Instead, we need ways to access the memory of difficult times and experiences, which can offer solace and healing when we need it most. So, it's time to set aside tangible possessions and start investing in meaningful experiences for yourself. Embrace the power of experiences and unlock the potential for growth, healing, and an enriched life.